Today, I'm going to walk you through getting Docker installed on your Synology NAS and configuring iPerf3. The Synology NAS that we're working with today is a Synology 923 Plus, and it has 32 gigs of RAM in it and a 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter. So let's get started. You want to first start by opening your package center, and we'll go to All Packages, and in the search, we're just going to type in Docker. Docker is currently not installed, so we're just going to go ahead and click Install Docker. This will take a couple minutes to download and get installed. But once it's done, we should just be able to go to the main menu and launch Docker. All right, Docker is installed, so we can actually close the package center now. And if we go into our main menu, we can see that Docker is now here and it is running. If we right click, we can add this to desktop. So now we have Docker on our desktop. Let's go ahead and launch that. So you can currently see here where Docker is using 1.22 gigs of RAM. There's currently 32 gigs of RAM inside the system and we're currently utilizing, you know, zero to four percent. You'll see these numbers move up and down. The next step we want to do is install iPerf3. You want to go ahead and click on the registry. In the search, we're going to go ahead and just type iPerf3 and hit enter. The very first one that is going to pop up is the network static iPerf3. We want to go ahead and download that container image. Then we want to click on images, select that image that we just downloaded, and we want to click launch. Now that we're in the launch, we want to use the same network as Docker host. This allows us to use the same IP address that our Docker host is using to simplify the networking aspect and directly test the interface uh, that we have attached to this uh, Synology NAS. We're going to go ahead and click Next here. Some of the things that I like to do, but you don't necessarily need to, I just uh, really want to make sure that when I'm running these iPerf tests that I have all the performance needed. So I normally enable resource limitations. I will move this container to high and I will take the memory limit right somewhere around four gigs of, of RAM. It doesn't need to be exactly precise. I typically don't enable the auto, auto start function. Um, that's a good functionality where even if you restart your Synology or uh, restart Docker or something, this container will always stand up. I typically only run this when I need it, just so it's not um, sucking up resources uh, throughout the rest of the day. You can change the container name, should you please, but for these purposes, we'll just kind of leave this as default. Now we'll need to go into the advanced settings and the execution tab. On this execution tab, we need to add the additional commands. So you can see our entry point is iperf3. This means that at the command line, it's going to execute the iperf3 command. What we want to do is add the switch server so that when this container stands up, it recognizes that it needs to be in the server mode and it needs to start listening for uh, communications to perform iperf tests. So what we want to do is just click Save here. And then we're going to go and click Next. And we're going to click Next on the volume settings. We don't need to change anything there. And then we'll leave this check to run this container after the wizard is finished, because then that just basically goes ahead and starts this ever after everything is deployed and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and click Done. Now we should be able to go to our containers tab and we see that we now have our network static iperf3 container up and running and it's currently um, running as we expect. So we can go ahead and close this and switch over to our command line. All right, now that we're switched over to our command line, we wanna execute uh, the command to perform a test uh, of our network interface. So I'm currently on a MacBook Pro that has a 10 gig Ethernet adapter, and I'm connected to a 10 gig uh, switch that also has my Synology 923 Plus connected to it with the 10 gig Ethernet adapter. So the command that we would like to run is just iperf3-darwin. Uh, this is the command that you need to get into iperf on a Macintosh computer. And then we're going to do a dash C, 
that allows us to specify the IP address of the server that we're communicating with, which is in this case, our Synology NATs, and then dash I, which is how often I wanna set my information interval. So I would put a one there because I want it to report back every one second. And then a dash T is essentially the amount of time that I want this, um, this to run. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter on this. And you can see that I am now connected to uh, the Synology NAS. It's performing test. I'm getting anywhere from, it looks like 8.3 gigabits per second all the way up to uh, 9.3 gigabits per second. There's a couple retries in there. That's not uncommon. Uh, you will have retries, especially when you're maxing out a particular interface. Uh, but you can see down here that uh, the transferred uh, was a total of 19.8 gigabytes. Uh, and the average uh, rate from the sender, which was my computer, was 8.5 gigabits per second. And the receiver was receiving on average 8.49 gigabits per second over the total time of this test. All right, well, that's how you set up iPerf on a Synology NAS, and this is how you perform the test, and I hope that this helps you